record a video a 30 to 60 minute video then I create a blog post hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you quickly create branded videos without editing them and what do I mean by that and we're going to get right into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you've seen my videos right you see how I have an intro at the beginning I have a, a little bit of the video from the middle of the video at the beginning and all that stuff you see that all the time in my videos and I bet you think oh my god that takes a lot of time what if I told you it, it just took a few minutes and yeah every single week I do a video I just run it through this system and it takes minutes literally of my time to actually generate an IGTV video a Facebook video a LinkedIn video a Twitter video and as well as images and all that so we're going to get into that I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about but first if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at CIS uh what's this uh cis 458jsgagnon.com where I'm going to actually show you share my screen and show you exactly what I'm talking about how that works and how simple it can be for you as well all right so let's uh, get right to it let me share my screen and show you what I'm talking about over here all right so oh I'm not I didn't click the button hold on hold on all right so if you're uh, on Facebook right so say you're on Facebook you see people post videos you're going to notice that the leaders have these little intros and trailers and things like that on their videos right like I do if I go to my uh, my page here right if it can load hold on did it take is it going oh yes if you look at my videos here if I just go to say videos over here on the videos you can see that my computer is slow that's you know a given it's always like that <clears throat> but if you see any of these videos that I have here on my page right these latest videos here and then the uh, all videos I guess when you look at these they all have the same format the same structure they start with a little snippet a five second snippet then they have this like explosive little video that's about a 10 15 second video I think that just introduces my brand then I start talking right now all of them are like that they all have a little snippet at the beginning they all have a, a little uh, exploding video so I mean if you have a team if you've got money you can hire people to do this all the time and they probably even would be better than this but what if you don't have the money and you don't have the time how can you be like the pros like the like the top leaders out there that are doing that kind of stuff without spending hours every time you do a video to just generate these like you know videos with intros and trailers and 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 overlay images and all these different kinds of things that you can do with editing software right yeah I can load up editing software and you can do all these things but it takes a long time to do first right it'll take a long time to do for you to do it and secondly you're gonna have to do it every single time you do a video I mean you can get good at it you can do it faster you can do it to a point where you're actually you know not doing too bad where you're doing these videos and you're just you're just getting used to the tool and you're doing that right but what if you didn't have to get used to a tool because you let the tool do it for you right this is what the syndication engine at click ecourse is all about if I go over here under syndication right there this is basically what you use to generate your content for your platforms now this is an ex this is uh, there's a couple of testimonials here and this kind of shows you what I do right basically I do this process where I record a video a 30 to 60 minute video then I create a blog post and then I I run it through this engine right here 
uh this is kind of small let me see if I can zoom in a little bit well you st you can't really see that too too much because everything else is kind of zoomed in too but you see right here where I run the process to generate post thumbnails text and post and short video so me what I do is I generate a 30 second video uh no sorry a two minute video a five minute video I generate an audio file out of that I generate a thumbnail for my podcast I generate a gif for my emails um which is basically the same thing let's just reset that over here which is basically the same thing I generate a, a gif a gif however you say it that I use in my emails like for example my emails that I sent this morning was the episode from last week which is kind of about this as well but I'm you know this is so important to me I think this is super important to you to be able to generate multiple pieces of content from one amount of work you don't want to be you don't want to be constantly create content do you you don't want to have to hire people to generate you know pieces of content from a main content because you can do that right if you talk about like people like uh, Gary V he certainly talks about uh, repurposing content all the leaders talk about repurposing content but they have teams that take you know they, anyways they do all sorts of things and they they, they you, you have to pay them to do it or you have to have crazy amount of time just to create content but you know that you know that that's not the secret right the secret to online growth online audience building and all that is not about creating a cr just spending all your time on content right you have to go and do the other things so let's say content took you only a few minutes per week to create content I have I even can get better at what I'm doing now but like if I go and I just let's just go in here and l l show you what I <coughs> what I have in my um uh set up right the way that I I do it if this uh, again like like I said my computer is really slow so it's causing different things okay so if I go to uh syndication over here go back to the actual syndication entry in my menu right over here right now I can show you the what I do with my my content how I generate my content it's really that it's really as simple as going in here now obviously getting into the whole details of, of everything maybe we won't do that but we'll see we'll get some of it anyways but this is last week's sorry last week's episode that just got posted so basically uh it's at it's at the end of the process so I'm just going to start over from the beginning to kind of show you how the process works so you basically give it an episode number so yeah so the first thing you got to do is you got to decide on a series so a series is like a tv show right like friends Seinfeld you know tv shows are last a long time right it could be an episode a day it could be an episode a week for years right they'll they'll have you'll have an episode but it's going to be the same series the same tv series the same tv show so it'll all have the same intro the same as um a trailer at the end right and that's kind of what this this is how this is modeled so right now I have episode 457 which is what I did last week here's the title of the episode right which is similar to what we're doing this week uh and then the next step info is basically the url of my blog post now obviously if you don't have a blog post you could always put the same url here because it's basically on your video uh where do you want people to go if they watch your video right you kind of put a url here I have a, a release date as well here when I go to the next step I specify the video that I want to use right right over here we got the video I want to use and uh and also down here the video the URL in YouTube for the subtitles because that's where I fetch the subtitles from then under video extract which is the next step based on how I configured things I just decide where do I want to get the gif out of it where do I want to get the uh the the short video I use the same position for everything so every time I do a video I kind of go through it and I find a place in it that I want to have my little five second extraction my little five second git gif gif and also that's where I get my thumbnail and my podcast image and stuff so that's where that's what this is right that 34 minutes as you can see right here it's it shows me where that is right 3405 is where I want my thumbnail to come out of and then uh then I have text from the actual blog post that I put in here which is the blog post that I wrote right 
and then finally on the last step there's the generated asset so in my case I have it configured so it generates for me text for Facebook for Twitter for Pinterest for SoundCloud for LinkedIn for AWeber for YouTube also IGTV down here right then I also have it generate for me a two minute video a five minute video a wave audio a, a video thumbnail a podcast thumbnail uh, a 600 uh, pic, uh 600 pixel wide uh gif uh 1200 one 600 with a overlay of a play um you know a little circle with a little play on it uh same thing with the thumbnail then I have the subtitles I get from from YouTube and then I have trim subtitles and IGTV video and then I have the two minute subs and I have also a video with two minutes on the subtitles on it and I have a couple other things a prefix to highlight the full person so all this sounds pretty crazy pretty complicated but the thing is that you have to remember that this is something you set up once you set it up once based on what you want to generate out of that video that you record so you you would record your weekly episode right your weekly show it can be an interview it can be you know anything you want whatever your target market your audience your avatar is interested in you are recording content every week right so maybe you're maybe you're doing you know a five minute video per day on Facebook well what about having instead of five minutes per day how about having a 30 or 40 minute video once a week and then taking parts of that video and posting them every day to redirecting people to the main video with uh, the link right so you could do that too right that that's that's possible so how would you do that how would that work all right so let's that's actually what I wanted to get into the process of doing that the first thing you got to do is you got to decide what do you want to do so let's just actually create a new let's actually going to do this uh, I'm going to I'm going to kind of create a little outline what do we want to do right let's say we want to do a let's say we just do just like this we're going to have a 30 minute video 30 minute video per week okay let's say we have one video that's 30 minutes per week right oops oh I don't I this is very basic editor obviously so I kind of messed up this thing let's just do that again 30 minute video per week if I click on the outside it kind of just like doesn't let me move it right so I got to be careful okay so we do a 31 30 minute video per week let's say that that's what we want to do we want to do that so that we don't have to do videos every single day right but then don't people tell you don't leaders tell you you got to be posting all the time well yeah what well, let's post all the time let's do that like this so let's say that we want to post a little bit a li let's say we want to post a piece of this video every day for the week right so that would mean we would need you know video one video two video three video four video five video six and video seven let's say we want seven videos from that 30 minute video we want to have seven let's say you know I don't know uh 30 second videos or let's say we make it a two minute video okay so let's say we make t seven two minute videos from this video right so how would you do that right so let's say let's see we would uh let's put some text in here because I want to kind of clarify that so Monday two minutes so this is uh oops that didn't so Monday two minute video right so let's say we do a Tuesday over here we got a Tuesday Tuesday two minutes right we do a Tuesday two minutes I wish I had better editing skills in this for this but anyways and then we have a Wednesday two minute so we're going to just do two minute videos let's say that's what we want to do right we want to create videos for uh every day of the week where we're going to post them regularly right and the reason why I'm kind of doing this because I kind of want to show you um how you would be able to do that and I I kind of want to start thinking about that because I'm actually planning on changing some of my content strategies and this is one of the ones that I think would be really cool to be able to do 
and I would love to show you how to do it too right so I want to do a Friday two minute same thing and there we go and then we want a Saturday two minute well maybe we don't do Friday Saturday and Sunday but let's just say we we prepare them right we we still do them maybe we do do Saturday and Sunday videos right <clears throat> there we go and then we do a Sunday two minute video all right so we have our seven videos that we're going to be doing right whoops this thing oh I want to move it okay so we have our seven videos that we're going to be doing and how do so how do we do that right how do we generate this I, am I going to spend all this time editing no it's like pretty cruel pretty crazy you do it really simply you do one thing and we're gonna <laughs> I'm not really sure let's say I call this I don't know I guess it could still be course income secrets but uh <clears throat> let's say that we create this as a test we're gonna call this uh uh I don't know we'll <laughs> sorry about that we'll come up with a name after we're uh after we're in uh in there right okay so um so how would you do that first you need to have an intro and a trailer so let's do we need a trailer we need an intro right we need it well it's got to be a short intro and then we need a trailer right so let's say we have a trailer we need an intro intro and we need a trailer and the reason why we need those is because when we're creating our videos our two minute videos for every day we want to have them start with something that identifies it as the you know as the as the video right and then we have a we want to have a trailer that says how did they get to watch the rest of it because you know this 30 minute video that's right here right this 30 minute video that you recorded they might want to watch the whole thing so if the, if you're just showing them two minutes they're they might be like oh well, well, I want to see the rest so you got to be able to tell them where to get the rest of the video so that means you have to have a place where you post maybe it's your YouTube channel uh whatever it is but you basically need to have an intro and a trailer and your intro would be kind of like your your signature introduction like for me if I go to my folder here uh, and I go to here I don't know if I have that in a separate oh I'm not sorry I should not have moved up here it's in here so <clears throat> there's a I have a I should have I keep forgetting where I put those things at to be continued so I have a video an image here right I actually created so that that is one piece of work that you need to be doing you need to record an intro and you need to record a trailer and those have to be the same all the time so I could actually use my phone and just record a quick intro <clears throat> and use that as my intro right but I just want to see if I have I have these these videos to be continued LinkedIn um then I have oh there they are supernova spiral so I have these things so I got these let's see I'll just kind of show you this one here <clears throat> if I can load it up I think I'll need to have this is loading up on my other screen so I have these little videos I did right let's put the sound on well you probably heard it um but that's kind of one of the videos I also have supernova logo these are from a, a place called vid videos and you but you can get it from all sorts of different ways this is the one I have for my normal one right I have my spirit oh that's the one we just watched photo opener what does this one look like I forget oh, that could be cool anyways I had that right different ones and these are uh these are special little intro videos that I created you can get them from let's say let's go show you you can get this I don't know if it's still available in the price of video videos uh, I forget what it's called oh actually I have it in my bookmarks uh branding video tools videos there it is v-i-d-d-y-o-z-e there might be an affiliate program so if you do want to get check that out let me know and I'll, I'll check if I have an affiliate program 
obviously <laughs> that would be appreciated if you did that otherwise just go to videos.com I have an account I've had it for for a long time I've had it since the beginning when they had the um, uh, lifetime access I don't know if that's still available but as you can see it's loading it's taking a while to load um, but videos lets you create sh little videos little kind of intro videos with your own image in there your own text things like that it's and you can add some sound it's got some pre-recorded sounds you can use that um, and um, it lets you generate little images and little videos like I did so that's kind of what I did here I created these little videos and I will just go over there afterwards but I kind of want to show you how this process works so let's say we wanted to create a new and what you need to do is not have an error on the website <laughs> obviously so I have to go fix that but I'll be right back all right so I'm back so now uh actually what happened is I'm not supposed to click there <laughs> what we're talking about is we want to create a new series that will give us this kind of assets we want to be able to create a 30 minute video a week and then we want to be able to create seven little videos so what will we need here so let's just go here we create a new series create a new series <clears throat> we give it the name that we want right I mean this I'm just going to call it uh let's say seven day uh seven days of videos I don't know it doesn't really matter the name of, obviously <clears throat> it could be course income secrets could be real talk video could be online marketing podcast you know whatever you want to call it and then you just click on next right here and then it gives you the default assets so what that means let's just say we delete everything let's say I don't want to have <clears throat> oh actually I think um let's say I don't want to have I don't know if this will actually work because I yeah so I got to reload the page let's just reload the page over here actually I need to do, 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 go do this then I need to do this all right so um let me see here all right sorry about that again so after I reload I'm still on the course income secrets I want to go to the new one that I created because I reloaded the page normally it would have stayed on the screen so it's just not worry about that but you go here and you click now because you're actually viewing this series you click on the edit series right okay so over here you can see let's say I don't want a YouTube text I just delete it I don't want a well let's delete all of these because I'm going to start from scratch just to kind of show you how all this works let's delete all these delete everything I probably uh could have deleted them but anyways okay so let's just keep going we're just going to delete everything that we don't need so we're deleting all of it because we don't want the default of whatever the system wants to do although you could have just kept it there and just added whatever you needed but in our case we're just going to delete everything so we can start from scratch so you can see the process now this seems complicated but again this is a one-time thing you do just this once after you've decided what you want in terms of output from your one video that you're recording you need to set up so that it generates these output right so let's say you want all of these <coughs> these will all be extracted videos from this and you're going to want to have you could make it really simple or let's just make it simple let's make it simple show you what I what I mean by making it simple <laughs> okay so we've got the seven days videos here we want to create an an input so actually before let's create an output let's just do a new video this will be the Monday um Monday clip so the Monday clip and it'll be No, actually we forgot we need to add, we need to at least have the video input main in main input right so we need to at least have the main input and after that all right so when you're in here what you do is you 
let's say right now we want to create those seven uh days right so we click on video create output we give it a name let's say monday uh clip right i want the monday clip um then i'm just going to say this one is going to be a, a digit extract video from other video the source will be the syndication source video the the one that i that's going to be the 30 minute video right and i'm going to give it a uh let's say 90 second length so a minute and a half because i want to have room to add the prefix and the uh, uh the prefix and the trailer right okay so let's do that now i have my monday clip now, now let's create another one we want a tuesday clip so we want the same thing and you'll see what happens automatically whoops the same one extract video syndication source and this is again going to be 90 seconds then we do another one we want to have each of the days right so tuesday wednesday clip so we go down here to da, da, da. again over here we want to change that to extract video 90 seconds so basically what we're doing is we're preparing our workspace so that whenever I do the video I don't have to do any of this anymore right so I'm going to do another output with a Thursday clip again it's going to be the extract video the length is 90 seconds let's do that like this and we do another one which is going to be the Friday video the Friday clip right whoops Friday clip now am I having trouble here Friday clip there we go Friday clip again it's going to be the extract and the 90 seconds we're going to save that so we got Monday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday I guess I could have put a number in front so that they didn't go in a weird order like this but let's just do another one we have the Saturday clip sat clip again it's going to be extract and it's going to be 90 seconds and let's do the last one the Sunday clip Sunday clip right it's going to be extract and 90 seconds and save all right so now we have our seven extract clips so if I just say done here and I create a new syndication it's going to be episode number one uh intro and click on next step here url is going to be let's say um youtube.com slash c my youtube channel right which of course can be a blog post can be whatever you want normally what i do is i have a new blog post every time i do a video so this becomes a url to that blog post uh, but anyways i'll just do that like this then i want to upload a video so i'm just going to choose and upload and i'll just take say one of these that aren't too too long because otherwise it'll take a while to upload um actually let's take this one again uh and I'm just gonna you know click on here and then you just would let it go we'll come back all right so once it's finished then we can actually see the the, the resulting video here and we can actually choose which pieces of it we want to have for each of the days so in this case I just uploaded a one minute uh 50 second video but normally you would have a 30 minute video there right and then when you click on next you'll see all the different parts that we want so over here I can come in here and again say okay I want this to be you know right here right then over here I want this to be right here this one I want it to be right there this one I'm gonna have it right here this one right here now obviously what I'm doing right now is not really you know what you would normally want because you'd have like I said the full, the full video there and what you're going to want in the full video <clears throat> is little pieces of it right now it's kind of like messed up because it's uh, a separate video but as you can see right here I've got it set to 10 second the well maybe it's not obvious but okay so this number here is where where is it in the video that you want that little piece extracted the 10 second piece right here so I'm going to put this as a uh, plus five I'm going to make them five second extracts instead so we'll just because it'll because that's what I usually do I usually do five maybe I'll change that to be a default of five in the 
by the time you access this platform but so after you've decided all those you click on next you can put some text in here this is the text to show you don't actually need that necessarily if you don't have any uh show in posts right text to show in posts right so you would write text in here which like I said in my in my uh post I use I create a blog post I put that in there then when you click on finish you have no assets so you click on gen generate asset and it'll put together it'll go into that main video extract the pieces and then put them in here so if I just refresh you see some of them are actually working right now these are processing two percent they're already they're already working on it and they should be pretty quick if I refresh again uh still four percent so he's doing a bunch of them at the same time obviously so but it still doesn't take that long you see this one's done right so now we have those little clips the idea here is that every single week when you do your 30 minute video you can choose I want just where the in the video you want those clips to be and that's it you don't have to create the clips you don't have to generate them now the next level is can be more complicated but still it's a one-time thing the next level is adding the intro and adding the uh trailer to them and we're going to talk about that next time on how to actually create a automated creation of separate videos that you can use for your platform uh your your uh, your <laughs> for your daily posts you create one video and you post every day right this is what we're going to be talking about next week is how to add the trailer and the intro to each of these so that they all tell people where to go watch the longer video all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time